Wow. Breaking news. Canelo Alvarez. I was born ready. Filing a lawsuit against Oscar De La Hoya. Golden Boy. And his promotional platform. The Zone. The DAZN curse continues. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to my channel for the latest and greatest. Man, things are escalating. The 2020 pandemic has brought out a lot, and it's been a really rough year, especially for some. Mike Coppinger of The Athletic, let's jump right into it. This is coming down. This is going down, bro. Six minutes ago, at the time of recording this video, breaking news, Canelo Alvarez filed a lawsuit versus Oscar De La Hoya, Golden Boy Promotions, and DAZN today in Los Angeles Federal Court, a copy of which was obtained by The Athletic. So shout out to them. Canelo says, quote, I'm not scared of any opponent in the ring, and I'm not going to let the failures of my broadcaster or promoters Keep me out of the ring. Canelo is suing Golden Boy, Oscar De La Hoya, and his own. Wow. Wow. 2020 is wild, y'all. Smash the like button. Canelo also said, quote, I'm the pound for pound number one in the world. I followed the lawsuit so I can get back to boxing and give my fight fans the show they deserve. The complaint alleges Alvarez multi-fight deal with DAZN was breached and caused damages of at least $280 million. Oh my gosh, bro. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I know this is not going to sound realistic. I was on the phone with my man and I was like, something's going on. I'm just hearing a lot of chatter in the industry. Um, what's going on? The streets was buzzing. I just had a funny feeling. I said, what's going on with the DAZN? I heard about the layoffs. In case you guys didn't know, DAZN, it says DAZN has laid off dozens of people with production and marketing departments in the U.S. and in Brazil. Um, it's been an awful year. DAZN laid off dozens of people. I was hearing a lot of chatter, but I wasn't sure exactly what was going on. And I was like, man, what if, what if DAZN and Golden Boy, you know, can't hash it out? Literally, when I said that, this came, this came across. So the streets was buzzing for a reason. And... This is big, man. This is this is huge news. You guys see DAZN laid off dozens of people in U.S. and Brazil hit hard. They're going to, of course, blame the pandemic. And now Canelo is suing his promoter, Golden Boy. This is about to get nasty, y'all. And I told you, listen, new media, I told you where to go. We control the narrative. It's about to get real ugly. Canelo Alvarez suing for at least $280 million, bro. He can't get the fights he wants. He said his career is being stalled out. And if Canelo becomes a free agent, wow, 2020 is wild. Wow. So we'll see what happens next. Um, this is going to set a, a huge precedence depending on the outcome of how this plays out. But this is going to really set a precedence for, for boxers to really take their careers in their hands. And if they see things that are wrong, you know, go after it and try to fix it amicably. And if you can't, you know, you got to look into alternate ways to resolve it. So we knew this was there was some tension between Golden Boy and we knew there was tension between Canelo and his own. But Canelo has officially had it and he has made the motion to sue Golden Boy and Oscar De La Hoya, as well as DAZN. This could really bankrupt Golden Boy. Their biggest fighter is now obviously not content, and it's escalated to this point. Um, he has someone in his gym like Ryan Garcia, who's the other big star that they got, and that's big bro to Ryan Garcia. So I don't know. This is just speculation, but they could be on the same page. And Ryan Garcia has expressed frustration with Golden Boy and you know, now his big bro Canelo is, is suing, trying to um, claim damages and stuff like that. Man, and now DAZN's laying off people. The face of boxing, the face of lawsuits now. This is crazy. 
But I can't say I'm surprised. I can't say I didn't see it coming. It's just, you know, we've seen this coming. It's like a terminal illness. You can see the person was losing weight. You can see the person was um, no longer looking the same, looking brittle, looking meek and feeble, you know. But you never, you never expected to, to get there. And it, it got there. The DAZN curse continues. I told you the business model didn't make sense. And then now you're trying to make Canelo fight for 30 to 50 percent price reduction because you can't honor what your contract said. So now he's going to be left out the ring and, and can't gather the money. He, so he he this is bad, bro. This can bankrupt and hurt a lot of people, because if you lose a lawsuit, right, he could become a free agent because it sounds like there would probably be a separation there. You know, I don't see if you try if you're suing someone, why you want to go back and work with them so this could sever the relationship canelo himself has been sued by a former promoter all-star boxing so he's very familiar with the the legal system and you know when people have issues and when when these things arise it's, it's usually not good but i can't say I'm, I'm surprised by it but if canelo wins money pain and suffering or whatever and claims these damages and you know you can always appeal and stuff like that but He'll likely become a free agent. So people will have to cash out and pay out. You, you should have just honored your contract. This is looking horrible for DAZN and also Golden Boy. This is your prized pupil. This is the guy keeping everything afloat and you couldn't keep him happy. Or, you know, he feels that he's been made to look bad because fights aren't getting made and contracts aren't being honored. Wow. More coming soon. DAZN curse, man. Smash the like button. We working. What up, Fight World? It's your boy, Ego, and I'm back with some more sports. Get unlimited access to premium content with an ESPN Plus subscription. ESPN Plus offers a variety of content, including specials, behind-the-scenes docuseries like Bruce Lee's Be Water, and much more. With an ESPN Plus subscription, you get access to a ton of classic archive fights and replays from boxing and the UFC. Big names like, hi, I'm Mike Tyson. Come and watch my fight. Floyd Mayweather, easy work. I'm rich. And Manny Pacquiao. Uh, yes, it's up to my promoter. Do, 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 do. Just to name a few. If that's not enough, you could get the ESPN bundle, which includes ESPN Plus, Hulu, and Disney Plus. All three apps, one low price. You don't want to miss out. Make sure you guys click that link in the description box of all of my videos. Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button, and you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.